checking out the sun at 171 angstroms. We've got space weather today. Lots of stuff going on. By the way, that anomaly you're seeing there, that's the moon moving in between the SDO and the sun. So check it out. We got another coronal hole coming in. And we got a sunspot spontaneously growing. Check it out right there. It's going to be a new sunspot. Lots of activity. Take a look at spaceweather.com. Current conditions. Solar wind at 549 kilometers per second. A significant uptick. Density up to 10.8 protons per cubic centimeter. Let's look at the real time. One minute updated solar wind data from the Discover. Give that one minute to load. And there you have it. Phi angle leveling out. The BTBZ looks like it's converging, but keep an eye on that one. Density is flatlined for the last period of time here. The temperature has increased. Let's look at spaceweathernews.com. All right, here's your x-ray flux. There has been a B-class x-ray flare, as noted right there. Magnetometer is all over the place. We had a major drop-off, and now we got a very steep increase in the magnetometer. Keep an eye on that one. That's, uh, that's the instantaneous effect of the sun. And the KP index is back up to 6. It was down to 5, and now it's back up to 6 for the majority of the past 18 hours. And as predicted, the electron flux has dipped down, as it usually does during a coronal hole wind stream. Now it's going back up again. Let's hope it doesn't go back up over 10 to the 5th, because that will represent a massive electron overload. Now the F2 ionosphere layer has calmed down a little bit. It was up to 14 megahertz last night. And let's take another look at that new sunspot, because all the activity is beefing up. It's creating uh, some transverse waves on the surface of the sun there. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. Poof! There it is. Look at that. It just explodes onto the scene. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos.